All right, when we start talking about nutrients, you probably think about N, P, and K. You may think about sulfur, a secondary nutrient, and you might even think about micronutrients. But I'm gonna guess you're probably never thinking about cobalt. That's what we wanna talk about today. All right, you're not gonna get the next 20 bushels of corn yield by adding cobalt. Let's just get that out of the way right off the bat then. Well, as far oh, as we I know found here. a secret weapon here. <laughs> you know, no, I don't think cobalt is that weapon. I don't think it has a big nutritive effect on the corn, at least that we know of at this point. But we do see a difference in livestock health. Like in a pasture situation, for example, if we've got decent cobalt levels in a pasture, all of a sudden we have less animal health issues with our livestock herds. So there's something there, we just don't know exactly what it all is. Okay, so when you look at the Ag PhD Fertilizer Removal app, you're not gonna find cobalt. This is something that we really just started talking about here in the last couple of years in a very small way. And you might say, well, if it's not a big deal, why are you guys even bringing this up? Here's why because we have a lot of farmers that we work with that are really pushing the limits of corn and soybean yields today, and wheat too for that matter, and they keep asking us, what else is there? What else could I be looking at? What else could I be trying? So yes, we want you to focus on those primary, secondary, and micronutrients, the common five micronutrients we talk about, but once you've done a lot of that stuff, once you've eliminated your drainage issues and a lot of the other problems you've had on your farm, hey, this might be something for you to look at. And part of the reason why we bring this up too is we've done some tests on our own farm and we have not found decent cobalt levels at all. We found, in fact, no cobalt on most of our ground. Here again, to do that testing, you've got to specifically request some of these nutrients like cobalt and nickel and molybdenum. They're not going to show up even on what your lab will call a complete test. Your complete test is probably just going to be the essential nutrients for your crop. So do some testing like Brian was talking about. Take a look around your farm, maybe just in a few spots, and look for some of these you know, trace elements, we'll call them like cobalt and nickel and moly. See what you're finding with them, and if they're not even at detectable levels, that could tell you, you know, this might be something I might try. You might use a blended micronutrient product that has some of those things in it for example, so you know you're gonna get some benefit out of the zinc that it contains or whatever else, but you're also getting a little bit of cobalt, and then see what kind of differences you see on your farm. Well, once again, cobalt probably isn't a big thing for you to think about or even worry about on your farm, but we're bringing it up just to hopefully kind of stretch your mind a little bit and get you thinking that, you know what, rather than just the same old stuff everybody's always talked about, maybe we need to start looking at some different things. Cobalt absolutely can be an issue in terms of livestock health, could it be a little bit of a factor in corn, soybean and wheat yields, vegetable crop yields, that type of thing? I don't know. I believe it could be on a very small scale. I also know you don't need a whole lot of cobalt. It's an incredibly uh, low level that you're going to need in a plant for even sufficient levels. So if you've already done a lot of other great things, you're already getting really high yields, maybe take a look at this. Or maybe if you've got livestock, take a look at this and just see, run some trials on your farm, see if it actually can make a difference. Cobalt is something we want you to look at at some point in the future. One other thing you want to keep an eye out for in your fields is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? <music> 